6.30, so I think what we should do is, uh, You're gonna get your go ahead. Hi, guys. Hey, How are you? How are Hi, you? Hannah. Good, good, good. Hi. All right, so we're ready to go. So um, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, regular meeting of the Hyde Park Town Board. Today is Monday, November 3rd. Uh, please join me while we pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so um, I'd like to um, ask for a motion to enter executive session to interview a ZBA candidate. I'll make a motion. And a second. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we'll be back shortly because we have a public hearing at 7.05. Sorry, Donna. I oh, no, to no push problem that at all. You. Yeah, it seems well, you know, when you have the extra chair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, wait, I'm sorry, David. Right. I, uh, does somebody have. We need anything. Well, I'm just looking um, for uh, just. I got it. Does everybody have? have okay. Guys? Yeah. I don't, did, did everyone look at. See Justin's um, resume? I, at it. I didn't bring it, but I looked oh. at it. Make a motion. And a second. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And no decision was made. Okay, so um, uh, we have a public hearing scheduled on the 2015 preliminary budget, uh, but we'll go ahead and workshop the uh, budget first. Uh, we have our comptroller here, so want to come on up to the podium, TC? If you would, thank you. Uh, any questions on uh, what we've been presented so far by the three major departments or any concerns that you have uh, wanna Emily would you like to go first councilwoman Spencer we are going to have um, we are fine-tuning the benefit costs uh, and some other mm -hmm. items in there so um, as in the past with the resolution we'll, we'll have revisions at this point not change anything on the bottom line it will be movements between accounts um, and I will get that when I get it finished. I'll get it to you before the adoption date. I guess it would be the adoption date would be the 17th. Go ahead, Emily. Oh, I really don't have any questions. I mean, I went through it, you know, line by line. And um, I just want to compliment you on really uh, creating a very tight budget here. Um, you know, you can see that the things that have risen are really things that are mandated and beyond our control. Um, health insurance and retirement costs that are in the contracts. Um, utilities that you know we have no control over um, re retiree medical expenses I mean that's something that was negotiated years ago so a lot of these things we really just have no control over but the things that we do have control over you know you've really got very tight you know cutting back on training expenses and other things and just really trying to keep it to the bare minimum um, and I think you know we're really just still dealing with the reductions that are related to the economy the sales tax mortgage tax and building permits are all down and I think we just have to ride that out a little longer till you know it starts to to rise again but I just wanted to say thank you for you know really doing preserving all the essential services the highway and police services and the things that people rely on um, and trying to keep things as tight as possible well thank you um as you can see, yeah, the budget is basically 65% labor and benefits, so right. uh, it's really mandated basically by union contracts. Uh, the town has an increased staff. I know you've considered a couple of special positions in the building department, and you've 
you postpone those decisions. So um, we have an increased staff in the police department. They're struggling to deal with the number that they have. So um, the town operates really at the minimum. I, you know, I've done budgets before that are tight, but this is extremely tight. Um, to stay within your uh, a reasonable increase in uh, the tax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Um, I, I went through it line by line like Emily, and, uh, you know, the, the recreation department is a small slice of the whole, you know, recre you know of the whole budget, and, um, you know, we offer a lot between the music and the parks and all the programs that we offer, and, you know, I would love to be able to offer more, and we're not doing that. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate where we're at right now with the, you know, sales tax and, and in the mortgage tax, like uh, Councilwoman uh, Emily stated. And, uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate, but, you know, we have an obligation to the town and, and to the residents, and I believe this is a, a fair and, uh, and, and, a, and a good budget. So I also commend you for, for putting those numbers together and working with the department heads and with the supervisor. Yeah, the, uh, as we had discussion with the, especially the highway department, um, we haven't addressed road improvements over and above the, the CHIPS expenditures. Yeah. Um, he did do <clears throat> he did do two important roads this year almost two hundred thousand um, dollars in paving but there's some drainage projects he wants to address so probably in early 2015 we'll get together with the highway department to find out what kind of a list he has he's going to develop a list of major drainage improvements i know the town borrowed before my arrival sometime in i think 2005 time frame they did some major drainage improvements and did some road reconstruction with bridges etc so um, mainly we've been relying on the chips uh, account so that's yeah, unfortunate we need to just keep looking for outside well, and for right. things too yeah. and you've been you know this town's been very fortunate that you've had some grants received from a lot of work on your part and the supervisor and the board members so um it's a shame we can't get some more grants for dot grants for transportation services but well, it seems, you know, for grants, you kind of focus on special projects that are more capital improvements, but what's really driving our budget is the operating costs, right? right, right. I mean, that's, and they're really hard to find grants that will um, assist in that operating cost. I don't think they're really designed for that. It's, uh, so. Um, and your department heads, uh, the three major ones have been really cooperating with our requests. Absolutely. Request as you saw during the, uh, their presentations. They didn't ask for anything unusual. No, absolutely. And, you know, th there were some major purchases that we really had no other choice, you know, with the, the trucks that Walt were, were running were way past their life expectancy, and, and actually they were past the point of even welding bodies back on them. Uh, the police department with over, you know, 150, 170,000 miles on some of those vehicles. So, you know, we had to make some tough decisions. and. Uh, well, I mean, we're running a, a town of 35 square miles, uh, $8 million budget, uh, you know, 22,000 people. You have to replace machinery. Yeah. I mean, it's, and, um, you know, as far as the cars go, it's, we, we struggle with this with the police as well as highway. It's uh, what anybody struggles with in their own home is uh, do you keep putting money into uh, an old car to try to keep it running? And, you know, it's that struggle. So, uh, I think we did that for many years, and it was the equation became uh, where it was disadvantageous to keep putting money into old vehicles. Right. So you know, and we even made new plans on on doing all the repairs in house before we used to send them out to the county. So there was an expense to the town. Uh, you know, I worked with Walt, uh, and, and he decided to do a lot of the servicing and maintenance of the vehicles in house, uh, which saved us quite a bit of money. But like you stated, we got yeah. at that point where. Hey, we were just throwing good money into, into bad. And, you know, just to give a shout out to the county, they did, um, although I'm still smarting about the loss of sales tax, mm -hmm. in case no one has heard that before, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they did uh, provide us with that shared service grant for, um, to buy the salt spreaders, which yes. should really help us reduce operating costs, because that's what we're focusing on. Mm -hmm. And also to be able to, uh, they, we use the excess to purchase, mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, equipment that will able, enable us to clear the sidewalks more um, expeditiously. So uh, we have also been looking into a new program that the county started. Um, uh, to encourage towns to take over the plowing of county roads, but 
You know, that's it. Uh, we talked about it a little bit, and um, uh, Joanne is kind of doing some analysis on whether that will actually provide the financial benefit that we uh, seek. If without financial benefit, there's really no reason to do it. So we're trying to look at that really carefully. And we're also working with the county uh, with the water and sewer. Yep, that's still, uh, we're looking forward to the completion of that project. Yes. And um, it's been a long time, but it's complicated. Uh, so before we run out of time, I just have one question for you, TC, in regards to the underperforming mortgage tax that you've talked about recently for this year. Do you feel we've accurately projected for next year in the budget? Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, the mortgage market is very difficult, you know, because you can have a spike. Um, we we have a figure of 290,000. Yeah. We started this year with 320, took it down to 290, and we're not going, going to make 290. Again. We're going to make about 250 to have a $40,000 shortfall. Uh, I'm a little nervous about the 290 figure for next year, but you know, the people I talk to in the, in the real estate market and then uh, the mortgage market saying that we should see, start to see a pickup in this area. Okay. Now, I'm not specific to the town of High Park, I'm just saying general Hudson Valley region. So. Sure. It's it, it's a real Unknown. I mean, you, if you go back to your previous figures, at one time you you were collecting four to five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, we're dealing with a lot less revenue, and it's difficult. So, <coughs> well, okay, we, we have yeah. Let's talk. Your comments, so. Okay. Well, let's just talk. I just wanted to talk about this uh, little statistical analysis I did this afternoon with the information that we received um, from the shared service summit, and I did email it to everyone. I think it's pretty pretty very interesting um, information. Uh, that came out of this. So essentially, um, you know, I picked the towns that are close to High Park in size and I combined um, the village and the town if they had such mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, as High Park uh, is, does not have a village, it, it seemed like it, for, it would be a better comparison if you actually use apples to apples. So, um, and then uh, this was actually provided by um, Jerry Benjamin, who is, uh, I don't remember the entity he's with. Creo. Creo. So, and it, it was a, um analysis of spending and uh, what the property tax levy um, decrease would be if um, people were to stay under the tax cap. There was a lot of information, but, you know, when you, we picked out the um, spending for the towns and uh, created a, a per capita um, list Hyde Park is by far spends the least per person out of any town out of uh, Hyde Park Fishkill East Fishkill LaGrange Red Hook Rhinebeck and Wappingers and it's not just by a little bit it's uh, it's fairly uh, significant you know for the our spending Hyde Park um, it's per capita two hundred seventy three dollars per person mm -hmm. Now, if that's uh, if you compare that with um, Rhinebeck, for example, uh, that's for, this is for the levy, not not spending, but for the levy. Uh, Rhinebeck's three sixty nine, but if you compare it for the actual spending, you know, if you compare, so the levy is that amount of money that has to be generated by taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, the spending is what spending is without that uh, being included and so but it's interesting because Rhinebeck was at a $964 per person spending where Hyde Park were at 467 so we're already spending about half what people what Rhinebeck is uh, uh, per person so I think that there's a lot more information that a lot that we can analyze this and get more impact from the the data but I think it's very clear that we're really there's not a lot of fat in Hyde Park um, we just we're at the lowest per capita spending uh, for the levy and just general spending so um, I just thought that was pretty fascinating and shows that we really are already doing more with less yeah, it, it, well it shows that for relocating in this region of this mid Hudson Valley it, that uh, Hyde Park is very advantageous it is it's I mean it's we're, for we're government spending and and and, and and we all know that that we have school, certain the school district. I don't know what the school district. Is. Mm -hmm. It must so um, so we'll we'll kind of go back to that. I don't know if anybody had any other questions about no, it. I thought it was, it was pretty fascinating yeah. stuff. So, no, all righty. Okay, so thank. Okay, thanks, TC. Thank yep. You, 
So um, I, at this time, I'd like to ask uh, um, the clerk to go ahead and read the public hearing notice. Notice is hereby given that the Town Board of the Town of Hyde Park will conduct a public hearing on the third day of November 2014 at 7.05 p.m. at the Town Hall, Town of Hyde Park, 4383 Albany Post Road, Hyde Park, New York, for the purpose of holding a public hearing on the preliminary budget for said town for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2015. A copy of said preliminary budget is available at the office of the Town Clerk of the Town of Hyde Park Town Hall, 4383 Albany Post Road, Hyde Park, New York, during the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m., Monday through Friday, where it may be inspected by any interested person. The proposed salaries for the calendar year 2015 are as follows. Supervisor, $24,500. Council Person, $7,500. Town Clerk, $44,000. Receiver of Taxes, $31,827. Town Justice, 31000 and the Superintendent of Highways, 70000 By order of the Town Board of the Town of Hyde Park, dated October 27, 2014, Hyde Park, New York, Donna McGrogan, Town Clerk. Thank you so much. So uh, do I need a motion to open the public hearing? Yes. May I have a motion to open the public hearing? Motion. And a second, please. Second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So, um, Mrs. Martino, why don't you come on up? <laughs> Hello, Jeanette Hi. Martino, 13 Franklin Road. Um, I just want to um, just share some ideas with you and some of my concerns. I share the same concern. I spoke about it last time about the mortgage. And it is it's depressing. And I hate to be the bearer of more depressing news, but, you know, as I looked at the budget as it was presented, um, and from the copy. The one thing that I was really struck with was that, you know, we don't have a sales revenue. We have a reduced mortgage rate, but the problem we also have is that if you go to the tax-exempt impact statement, we have over $400 million worth of equalized value properties that are not taxable. And that puts a really big burden on the rest of the taxpayers. <coughs> And then I thought, okay, then I started going into the Dutchess County tax rolls. And I started looking at what I paid last year for my 2014 town taxes. And I started looking for that number, and I started going into Rhinebeck and Pleasant Valley and Clinton. And um, what was the other one? LaGrange. And I started comparing what the same amount was equitable to as far as their um, full market value. And I was really depressed because Hyde Park value were so reduced that in looking at what the same town tax, um, what that market value was in other towns, my house value could have been um, a third more, up to double of market value, which as a taxpayer makes me concerned. Because as I begin to lose that equity in my, t you know, in my house value, it's where that's something that I will never regain again. And I think approaching the taxes is becoming very, very important. I know you're doing a great job, but I mean, there is really to be in a higher tax town sets you at a commercial disadvantage for commercial growth to attract other people in, because let's face it, profits drive commerce. Mrs. Martin, I just have a, a question. Uh, did you look, you, you look through the budget. Yes. Do you have any suggestions on where we could cut? Well, this is a hard thing, because basically, <coughs> the budget itself is only a plan. You, as a legislative governing body, your policies and your, and your um, resolutions and your actions really set the implementation of this plan into motion. Right. But looking so, through the budget, did you, was there anything that caught your eye said, wow, they're really overspending there? Not is there, really. Is there a uh, line? There were a few things. Um, one is that I noticed that if you have a further decrease in your mortgage, at that point, for the revenues, you have not prioritized where are you going to draw from? What are you going to lose? And I haven't seen any discussion, and that basically is your decision, based on what your priorities are and what policies and what decisions you put into place. 
Another thing is that I'm really concerned about the Dock Street Bridge, and I know Mr. Um, or Plansky is working on that. Thank you if so much. If we don't put Mrs. money aside Marginia. for that, yeah. and it's your three minutes are up. Well, I, I think that the last comptroller was uh, did a well. We'll we'll just let that go. So okay, we're we're grateful for um, your comments. And do we have anyone else? Doesn't look like it. So um, may I have a motion to go ahead and close the public hearing. Motion to close. And a second. Wait, are we supposed to close it, or do we need to keep it? Or is that okay, Warren? Close the public hearing. Okay. Close the Warren, can you bring your uh, your I'm sorry. yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you close second. the public hearing. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. So we have a second, and all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So um, with that, I don't know if anyone has any further anything that they would like to comment on before we move on to the public comment on resolutions only. Should we add the other two resolutions? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Yes, we have two uh, <coughs> resolutions to add. Um, and thank, thank you, you, TC. TC. Um, I would like a motion to um, add uh, and a resolution to approve the 30-day liquor uh, 30 day license liquor liquor license waiver for the CIA and approve the tax certiorari for Victoria uh, Victory Lake Victory Lake, Victory Lake. Uh, motion to add at the dais and a second second and all in favor aye, aye. aye. okay so uh, would anyone like to uh, come on up and speak to any of the four resolutions before us Okay, <coughs> so moving on. All right, resolution 1131 of 2014, resolution setting public hearing on special district benefit assessment rolls. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 113 2 of 2014, resolution approving budget revisions to Town of High Park for the period of October 2014. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 11 3 3 of 2014, resolution to waive 30 day advanced notice of a liquor license for on premises consumption uh, at the Culinary Institute of America. And do we have a second? Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 And the last, Resolution 11 3 4 2014, resolution authorizing the attorney to the town to sign a consent judgment mm. settled in the Victory Lake okay. Realty Associates LLC versus Town of High Park tax cert proceedings. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so um, may I go ahead and ask for a motion, motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn a meeting. And second. Second. And all in favor? Aye. 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 How do we make it? Okay. Good night. Pretty good. But it's. Mm -hmm.